just came home to eat rest and I'm so happy because I didn't have any delay and it just took me like four hours from Bremen I think and I got a package I don't know if you remember but last vlog I mentioned oh no two vlogs before I mentioned the brand which is called Bazarange or something I think they're from um Oh my god, <laughs> it didn't focus. They're from France and I really like their design. And yeah, it looks so cool. So I can get so excited about packaging. And I ordered like a sports leggings. I think they sold it more as a yoga leggings. And I actually only own one sport. Uh, sport pants or things I can wear to do sports so um, yeah I only had that one for like the past three years or so I think I bought that one in Japan and so I thought now as I'm doing a little bit more sport and um, I think you can also just wear this leggings under just pants when it gets cold because all of my um, like thin pants that I can wear under those ones. <laughs> I don't know. I stole from my mom <laughs> or she gave it, gave them to me. So I thought maybe it would be good to have one for me. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, I also ordered one pack of socks because I still don't have enough socks. Just some... Some brown ones. Yep, yeah, just really simple, but I actually don't own uh, brown socks. Yay! They're also a bit longer. I really like that. Oh, I love getting packages so much, but I don't order that often. But yeah, okay, recyclable paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was expecting a way different color I got these ones but I thought they would be or oran orange oh my god I can't speak but they're brown I mean I do like the color as well it's called Kateshi rust okay all garments are dyed using plant sources such as roots berries sparks or leaves I think that's so interesting and I think it was a collaboration with this brand wood wood <laughs> and yeah this is their logo it also looks pretty cool i mean i like this color but i thought it would be orange so that's a bit weird okay i'm gonna try them on i like this detail you see it's like ripped like this and also the inside on the inside it says like oh you can't see that 84 percent organic cotton and that's also why it is not a, like you can feel it's organic cotton it's not like extremely stretchy but i think when i wear it a lot it will it kind of looks like the pants you wear when you go skiing i think but for some reason on that website that look looked really cool even though that's not really something i did find aesthetically pleasing in the past I don't know, just purchasing from cool brands makes me so happy <laughs> to support them. So yeah, it's really different to have brown leggings, I think. Yay. Before I start my uni work, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I want to buy snacks to motivate myself and to procrastinate. Uh, but yeah, I have more this pants now underneath um and yeah this is my look for grocery shopping and i want to make um dal like with red lentils lentils tonight and want to buy some naan bread and yeah i'm already looking forward to cooking for the evening but before that i really have to work and do uni stuff
I don't necessarily want to get bourbon all snowed up, but we got it. I'm talking about a, a presentation, a pitch I just had, just to know what's going on like for my graduation. I am assigned to one specific brand, it's a sustainable sneaker brand, and we are six girls who are working on that brand and we all just delivered our how it might we question or like our challenge we want to focus on the next few months and uh, I don't know, I'm so glad this is done. I'm now on my way to go one last time to the city center. I'm leaving today to Germany again. Oh, and I wanted to show you, since this is gonna come out after Christmas, I finished my first crochet piece. And it does not look perfect, perfect, because it's my first bag. But I think it looks really cute, right? It's also with this kind of match. But um, it's actually for my sister. I think she will like the, the color. You can't put that much inside, also nothing too heavy. I can link below the tutorial I used. I would actually recommend starting with a piece like this because that was really easy. And I also am doing a scarf, but the scarf is taking me so long. So I'm not sure if it's a good thing for a beginner to do a scarf because then, yeah, you're, it takes you a long time to finish. But um, yeah, oh my God. If I see it now, I'm really thinking this is the perfect fit. And I also added here some white, oh wait, I'm wearing it the wrong side, um, some white details. Christmas. Um, today is the 31st of December. I'm gonna celebrate New Year's with my friends tonight. And I wanted to wrap up this video um, and I hope I can edit and maybe upload it today. Um, we'll see, but um, 
yeah, I just want to also share how my Christmas was um, because it was quite emotional this year and maybe um, people can relate to that, that Christmas can be a really emotional time because you're just meeting up with your family or yeah, maybe it's just in general a difficult time for you. I cried a lot on Christmas and um, first I cried <laughs> like we started um, singing some Christmas songs which was really nice my mom played the piano and then suddenly I don't know I think it just really hit me how lucky I was because we had our Christmas tree my grandpa was there and maybe it was also the Holy Spirit I, I I'm not sure but it it really hit me the fact that I thought, wow, it's so special and I'm so privileged that I could have such a nice Christmas dinner and I felt really, really blessed in that moment, so I couldn't sing. And I do love singing, so that was a bit sad. <laughs> um, and yeah, the other time I did cry in a sad way, I guess, because I think on, on Christmas, oh my god, if I think about it, I could cry again. <laughs> but I think I realized how I'm so often alone with my faith, with my Christian faith. And um, <sighs> I think it's difficult for me that my closest and loved ones don't share the same belief. So I'm not from a family where like from the beginning on we all have the same belief and like um, I think I got more into Christian faith t um, through my friends or the community I had um, when I lived here but now as I like moved a lot um, I don't really have yeah people that are always there and can support me in my faith and I more have friends who are living somewhere else or yeah but um i just wanted to say that it was really hard to realize that something i feel and something i connect with my faith faith um people that i love can't really relate to even though i explain it to them but obviously explaining didn't make me a christian it's more the feeling i have with my faith and um I just thought maybe someone can relate to that, that um, you maybe believe in something and you feel like no one in your bubble or no one that you see regularly believes in that as well. If it's your faith or living as a vegan or obviously it's, it's a bit different because it's a faith, but I guess if you really believe in something and you don't have people that surrounds you and that can relate to that, I feel like it's sometimes a really big fight that you feel like you're fighting on your own. But um, I hope that maybe social media can be, for instance, a place where you can get um, the support of other people who think the same thing. I think it's so such a special thing if you use social media um and try to follow people who support you in the things you believe in and um yeah i really want to focus on that on social media to um to only consume consume things that um push me further motivate inspire me and um i hope you can do the same as well and i really also hope that the videos i put out there can be some kind of inspiration or at least no demotivation in the things you do and um, yeah I just wanted to say a really big thank you if you have watched some of my videos this year and um, I think this year was the first year where I really could also meet some of you and um, I hope you have a good start into the upcoming year, a peaceful start 
don't overload yourself and be too stressful and i really hope you stick along and thank you so much for being here again bye